Hey there everyone, this is Nick as founder and CEO at HitGosee. So in previous video, we saw how to center text over an image using uh, position absolute uh, property, right? Uh, yeah, so in today's video, we're going to see how to center text over an image using some different property called background image, right? So uh we're gonna do this uh as we did in our previous video using inline css right so this is basically inline css right so yeah so for that let's just remove everything inside the body tag let's open our live server right in here let's open a div tag and yeah in this um uh, in the style attribute we have a property called background image right then in here url right and yeah here you can put the path so nothing happened i guess we need to give the width right check okay we need to give the height as well let's give it 400 pixels uh okay so there's a property called um background um size right so we're gonna uh, keep it to contain hit save so as you can see uh the image has been contained right so basically it's uh yeah we have some duplicate images on here right so you know in order to you know uh in order to deny this uh background repetition we need to set background repeat to no repeat yeah cool so this is how uh we can um uh, set background image using the background image style property right and in here we can type any of the text let's say h3 a robot right cool so we have a text right let's switch its color to white cool now what we have to do is we have to center it right so in order to basically center um this text we have to apply the same <laughs> exact method that we did in our previous video right so first of all let's just align it to center and um you can just uh you know give the flex over here and you can set i don't know if it's uh, if it would work or not okay it it's not working so yeah let's just remove this right let's keep it uh the exact same method that we did in our previous video right so what we're gonna do is let's just uh wrap this s3 tag in a div right and in here let's style it and give it a border of two pixels solid red right let's have our okay yeah, it's taking the complete width. I guess hide it could fit auto or no, maybe 100%. I don't know if it worked. Okay, it's taking the background repetition also. So, um, let's not go with 100, but uh, let's hard code, hard code it 400 pixels. 200 pixels okay 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 got it got it got it listen 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 we can actually adjust the height from here itself 200 pixels 200 pixels but we have to give the height right so 250 230 220 maybe 215 okay two let's go with 270 and with um um okay so actually it's taking some let's keep it 390 so 
35. Cool. So yeah, we got the perfect image around here. Let me just uh check some uh I need to check something over here. Something new. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so without the width and if we remove the width and height property, we have something inside this uh parent development, then um the default size would be um I don't know it would be something like this um let's just um, with what if we do 100% okay not working I guess I need to keep it 300 pixels not working I need to give the height as well okay so one more property we got is background size not size um, box sizing i guess okay not working not working guys not working anyways let's just uh leave it leave it as it is right 400 pixels and hide what was 300 pixels um it was 250 230 20 20 width was uh 39 pixels i guess cool so let's keep it 3 218 uh 215 working 217 works great cool so we got the dimension right perfect dimension now we can basically send our text right so um Let's hit display flex. Justify icon in center. Right. And items, align items with center. Right. So it has been centered as you can see. Now we can remove the border. Right. So yeah, it's, I guess it's not exactly at the center. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can adjust the uh, width and height as per your choice right so yeah that's pretty much it and we can give a filter property yes filter blur and pixels oops it's way too much five pixels and now we need to give z index basically of one to this text two okay it's still not working i don't know why isn't it working um C index uh why isn't it working? Okay, I guess uh this property is basically this filter property is making uh this uh the child elements also uh it's affecting the child elements also. So I guess uh there's a flaw in in here, right? So in order to achieve that we have something called um I don't know, background backdrop filter 10 pixels okay this would not work here let's go with background uh, uh, background image property um okay i guess it won't work over here filter stuff um let's just check something blur five pixels right if we are giving five pixels over here what if we do minus five pixels over here <laughs> okay it's not working Cool. So, see, guys, what I think is what if I position it absolute?
Okay, I'm keeping it absolute. And I'm giving it C index 1. Right, and just for a while, let's keep it red. Okay, here it is. It's basically just below the um right. What if I uh do it here? Cool position absolute index. What if it's zero? Okay, it's not working, I guess. Anyway, so let's apply filter property now. Five pixels. Okay, it still doesn't work. You guys, it's still not working. Um, uh, okay, so I guess let's do one thing. Let's chat GPT out. Have you guys tried chat GPT? I don't know if you guys have tried. You must try it. So good thing, right? It's basically a long language model AI. It answers your queries like it answers everything, right? So let's just log in, it, log into it, and yeah, let's just wait for a while and let's search for a background image property filter blur but uh but please do not apply the filter effects to the child elements in css let's see what he got what the chat GPT got by a blur filter to the background image of an element element without affecting its child element in CSS. You can use the okay. Uh, 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 um. Well, guys, this is a lengthy method. This is a lengthy method, right? So it's way too lengthy. I don't think that I should uh I should try to explain you this guys <laughs> like uh okay let's do one thing I'm going to explain these stuff later right before and after effects the, this is basically uh the part of of CSS right the external CSS so when I'll be introducing the class classes in HTML and CSS external CSS basically I'm gonna um, providing you with the information of how to use the, these properties before and after, right? So let's do one thing. Let's stick to how to center this, right, for a while. And if you guys really want to center a text uh, to an image, use the property, uh, the position absolute property, and the email to uh, position to basically center the text. Um, over the image tag right and please do not use background image if you're willing to give filter property right uh using the inline style so i would prefer that method uh, the previous uh, the method that i've shown in previous video right just stick to that it's quite simple and it's yeah it's easy quite easy so yeah that's all for the video that's how you can center basically text over an image right yeah so yeah that's pretty much it in today's video thanks for watching see you in the next upcoming videos peace out